Hello and welcome to Phil Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Routing and Remote Access Using a NAT Router. The goal of this video is for us to use routing and remote access to create a NAT connection from my private LAN network to the public WAN network. Our private LAN network has a 10.0 IP address and the public WAN network address given to us by our internet service provider is 80.80.80.2. Let's get to work. Here we are on the server NAT1. This is the same server as router 1 that we used in a previous example to verify that we could connect between two networks using this server. I've changed the IP address and now I want to verify that we're still able to route between the two networks. We are now on PC1. This computer is inside of the private LAN network. I'm going to verify that it is able to ping a server on the public WAN network. There, the pings are successful. Now we're on the public WAN server. Let's go ahead and verify that we're able to ping our internal private WAN network computer. These pings are also successful. We are back on the NAT1 server. Let's configure the routing remote access. We can see that it still has the configuration that it had for the LAN routing. We're going to have to disable it in order to reconfigure the routing and remote access. Notice this part right here. When we make the new configuration, it will put two more icons there. Okay, I'm going to disable the routing and remote access. This will cause it to disable some services that work with routing and remote access. There, we can see that the green dot turned to a red dot, showing that it's no longer configured. I'll configure it and choose a custom installation. I'll put a check mark inside of the NAT. Okay, let's start the NAT services again. I'll expand it and we can see that there are some additional icons for the IPv4. The first one is used with multicast. And the second one is specifically for NAT. We can create a new interface that NAT will be using. First, I'll tell it what our private network will be. And next, I'll indicate what our public network will be the one where NAT will actually be active on. Okay, let's see if the PC can ping out to the server on the internet. Yes, it can. Now let's see if the internet server is able to ping our internal private LAN network. 
we'll type in the IP address of PC1 and see if it can ping it. No, it can't because the network address translation table does not have an entry for the server, IP address, and port number combination. The network address translation system has been useful in allowing IPv4 to survive until IPv6 has the chance to be developed across the internet. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.